Live from the Script Studios, this is San Diego's news source, 10 News. Serious questions are being raised about the Border Patrol agent under fire for shooting a mother of five. Today, Team 10 investigates why the agent may not have been fit to carry a gun or a badge, even though he was hired by the Border Patrol. And that agent had been called unfit for law enforcement before. Team 10 investigator Mitch Blocker is here now with the termination letter that has some questioning why the Border Patrol hired Agent Justin Tackett in the first place. Mitch? Yeah, Monique Takachin's family is going to sue the Border Patrol, saying Agent Justin Tackett was unprovoked when he shot and killed the 32-year-old mother of five last month. The big question now being raised is did the Border Patrol know who they were hiring when they hired Justin Tackett? This bullet-ridden windshield shattered a family. The Border Patrol says it was just an agent protecting himself, that he was in Chula Vista looking for a fugitive. But now there are questions about whether Justin Tackett should have been a Border Patrol agent at all. There was abundant evidence of misconduct, dishonesty, mistreatment of people. Before joining Border Patrol, Tackett was an Imperial County Sheriff's deputy, a job he quit after he was told he was going to be fired. It's been widely reported that he was suspended several times for misconduct, but what has not been reported is what Team 10 uncovered. We found years before Tackett was hired by Border Patrol, the chief deputy in Imperial County planned to fire him, writing in the termination letter, a deputy who cannot be trusted to tell the truth is a person who cannot be trusted with a badge or a gun. The letter says Tackett was to be fired for unprofessional conduct, dishonesty, refusal to obey reasonable regulations, and insubordination. The chief deputy wrote Tackett, repeatedly placed himself above the department and its mission, supervisors and their orders, and fellow peace officers and ethical obligations. The termination letter reminds Tackett, you are not a law unto yourself, but no more than an appointed deputy charged with enforcing the laws of the state of California and the county of Imperial. Attorney Gene Ardell filed the lawsuit against the Border Patrol on behalf of the victim's family. With no change in his law enforcement training, and no apparent change in his character, a federal agency, the Border Patrol, hires this man and trusts him with a gun and a badge. Tackett disputed his firing, arguing it was because he was white and those in charge were Hispanic. We called Tackett. He told us he had no comment for this story. Now, we also wanted to ask Border Patrol if they knew Tackett's history when they hired him and why an agent who didn't cut it as a sheriff's deputy was hired by the Border Patrol. They did not return our calls today. Mitch, what about the Border Patrol Union? What is yeah. it saying about the agent's actions? They fully support him. They say if he feels his life was in danger and threatened, that is exactly what happened.